What is up, AMS and Argyle ASD and the YouTube universe? It's, yeah, your boy, Mr. Baker, and I am back with the last episode for this semester of Every Day Teacher. I know I've been off for a couple of weeks, and I know in the last video I said I'd be back next week. That didn't happen because the next week was the last week of school, and last week of school is tough, difficult, extremely busy. So I didn't get to film, took a couple weeks off. Then I had an idea. It's summertime, got nothing to do, but I promised the viewers one more video. And I figured, hey, we're getting a new assistant principal next year. And hey, nobody knows who this person is. And hey, she keeps coming up here bothering me, so I might as well put her on everyday teacher. So in order to do this, I better get professional, take off the summer shades, keep the hat on though, tilted as always. And quit jabbering because it is now my special privilege to introduce to you the new assistant principal of Argyle Middle School, Miss Dona. This is when you roll in, you watch all these videos. Lumsden. She says she's watched all the videos and she don't know when to roll in. That would be Donna Lumsden. But it's spelled D-O-N-A. There's a vowel and then a consonant it's followed by a vowel, so the first vowel is long, Dona. I taught math, so I don't know all that, but it's Donna. Oh, Donna Lumsden, everyone. So Hi. over there in YouTube land, whether you're watching on their phone or your TV or whatever, uh, wave hello to Miss Lumsden. She will be my partner in crime or tracking down crime this coming school year, 2018-2019, here at Argyle Middle School. So uh, apparently Miss Lumsden has watched a few of these videos. She, she exclaimed that when she interviewed for the job. So I think she's familiar with the show. Am I missing anything? You did this. Yep, and I waited um, on you for about a minute. I know, I, f I forgot. I was watching like a fan, like the fan that I am. Correct. Got sucked into In it. all of mm -hmm. the talent. Um, <laughs> I'm missing something. Uh, See, we got colors. We got red, black, well, there's no... white. There's no green screen. This is art from Argyle students, mm -hmm. by the way. Oh, yeah, that. I thought you meant maybe your red pocket shirt. Oh, no, oh, no. no uh, and I also that. was hoping you left those in your office. Nope, that's part oh. of the game. All right, Miss Lumsden, Lum, Lumsden, here we go. You are familiar with how this thing goes. I guess let's start it off as we always do. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? How much longer I can sleep and which outfit I'm going to put on. Oh, boy. You got a lot to choose from. I mean, I pick out five for the week. Oh, organized. You went yeah. with the polka dots today. Today, polka dots. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do outside of school? Water. Lake, pool, beach. Oh, not plants? I like plants, too. You water them? Yeah, I water them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have kids? Yes. Two kids. Two. Mm -hmm. How old are they? I have a college boy, 21, uh -huh. at Texas Tech. All right. And I have a 13-year-old daughter. 13-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right. A couple of real quick this or that questions. Okay. Kind of going back to the original days of EDT. Green or red? Red, for sure. You sure about that? Red. Red. All right. Coffee or tea? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Where are you from? Here. Here. I mean, like Denton oh. from the okay. area. From the area. The area. Mm -hmm. That's what they called it around here. Mm -hmm. Falcon or eagle? Birds of prey are my preference for sure, yeah, but, but I'm going to go with eagles. You're going to go with an eagle? Mm-hmm. Eagles. All sure. right then. Good answer. Hot or cold? Hot. Hot. <laughs> Definitely, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Early bird or night owl? Middle, but I, well, I mean, I guess early bird. So you're a lunch loon. Yes, I like the middle oh, of the day. Bad. Uh, in and out or Whataburger? I think I know this answer. Um, Whataburger. You sound reluctant to say I, this. I don't really like either one of those. I like um, Five Guys oh. and I like burgers and brats. And I used to like Whataburger a lot, but I ate it too much and I got the burnout. Got you. I actually had my first in and out burger last week. They seem wet to me. They, the water stays on the lettuce. Uh, I ate in the restaurant. It's a little too white for me. Color-wise, sorry. There's a lot of the walls and the staff are wearing white. My bad. Gotcha. Uh, cowboys or nah? No. No? Who? No. 
Um, well, right now, I like the Kansas City Chiefs right because now. Mahomes went from Texas Tech to there, and he's going to be really fun to watch. Okay. But really, I like college football. Oh, all right. Uh, corn dog or hot dog? Hot dog, unless you're at the state fair. Okay, so what kind of hot dog? You got a favorite? Yeah, just like a Oscar Mayer beef and, you know, mustard and onions and pickles. Relish? Yeah. Pickles? Yeah, pickles. Cut up. No mayonnaise? No. No ketchup? Eh, sometimes, maybe. Barbecue sauce? No. Salt? Uh, celery salt, maybe. <laughs> That's funny. It Cause, is? Yeah, because the next thing I was going to say was celery salt, thinking that that would be funny to say. Um, and Chicago dogs always have celery salt. You'd probably like our elevator here at Argyle Middle School. Does it smell like celery? It smells like celery salt. Mm, the one yeah. at Lake Dallas smelled like discount tire. Oh, nice. So celery salt sounds good. Maybe that's what ours smells like. What is your favorite thing to cook? Tonight I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make shrimp pasta. So like right now, that's what I'm thinking about cooking. So that's your favorite right now. Well, today I like to cook. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. What's I think your in my favorite? interview I said broccoli and rice casserole. I forgot. Which I do like that, too. What's your favorite thing to eat? If you had anything right now, somebody could pop through that door that nobody can see and bring in a dish, what would it be? Mm -hmm. um, tacos. Tacos. Soft? Crunchy? Uh, soft. All right. All right. Uh, fizzy drink, Coke pop, or soda? What do you call it? I call it a Coke, but I always mean Dr. Pepper. Ah. Do you, you get down with Diet Dr. Pepper? Nope. It's the sweet one. Yeah, something you're doing with that. I don't understand. I don't it's follow it. It's the commercial, it. man. Little sweet. The little guy on the horse. I don't, I don't <laughs> I, see that. I shot away from it with the Mingus, so I'm going to do it now. It's the sweet one. Oh. You know that guy? I haven't seen that. I guess I'm the only one that no. watches commercials. Yeah, I go through those. Yeah, see, not um, me. I don't like the Dr. Pepper on ice because it smells funny. So you drink hot Dr. Pepper? No, I drink it in a can or a bottle, but if it has ice, then I get Coke. Oh, in ice. Yeah, I don't like it in I'm ice. I'm learning this about you. In and on, you kind of use interchangeably. Yeah, they, the same. All right, back to your uh, applying for this job. Mm -hmm. When you sent in a video for this job, mm -hmm. you, you shot a video outside of the campus. Mm -hmm. By all the right? sign. Yeah, by the sign. Mm -hmm. And you were wearing an Argyle pullover. I was. Interesting fact, another person who applied for the job sent in a video filmed themselves outside and wore the same pullover. I'm not saying it's the same one, it could have been. So my question hmm. roundabout is, is, is there an assistant principal interview starter pack <laughs> you can buy because it was interesting to see that a couple of different people mm -hmm. wore the same thing trying to get the job. You, of course, got the job. Right, understandable. I wonder so. what that other person did with that pullover. I don't know. Hmm. The pullover was at Kroger, so I feel like that's pretty accessible. Yes, because um, I was going to say, did you get it at Kroger? Because I know in the fancy dancy Kroger at Lantana, they've mm -hmm. got school wear. And yes. so they've got Argyle pullovers at Kroger. That's where I got it. Sweet. And then for them doing the same thing as me, I just figure um, people know what I'm doing and they just try to do it. Too. Oh, so they're mimicking you. I'm sure that was probably I get it. you. Did you buy hot dogs the day you bought your pullover? Probably. <laughs> All right. If you could get a gift card to anywhere besides Amazon. Uh, yeah, right. No, done with that. Where would it be? Probably Hobby Lobby. They still in business? Yeah. Wow. So you'd go there and get a bunch of knickknacks. Yeah, maybe some fabric. Baskets. Oh, fabric. To cover a. Cotton. I want to cover my bulletin board with Fake some plants. fabric. Yeah, and. Um, what bulletin board? I'm gonna get one. Oh. Someone nice. took the one out of my office, so I've got to get a new one. Yeah. Yeah, they did, because it wasn't yours. True. Good point. <laughs> what is the worst job you've ever had? So I got a job at Foley's, which is now Macy's, selling coats. So it was in the seasonal oh, department, okay. and that was a decent job. So summertime, you didn't really do anything. Well, I didn't know that the coat department turned into the bathing suit department. Oh, boy. And so cleaning up that dressing room wasn't good. Yeah. I didn't enjoy that. Did customers ever ask you, what do you think on the bathing suit On the side? coats a lot, oh. people ask me. But on the bathing suits, <laughs> no? the people didn't come out with the bathing suits on. I don't think ever did I see that. Oh, okay. No. I just thought that'd be a fun that job. That would be you weird. could be like, no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'd want to sell the bathing suit, so I'd probably tell them that, you know, they look great in it. Good point. If you weren't a teacher, because 
you're still a teacher. Mm -hmm. What would you be? I think I'd probably be a lawyer or if I didn't really need to make money, I would like to be a tour guide. <laughs> like find some historic place where I could tell people all about it. But you'd have to say the same thing over and over. It's like at Disney World when you're on the boat or whatever and the people are saying the same thing over and over. You understand they're doing it because they just run through the jokes and they could put some emphasis on uh, crocodile, but they don't. And then it's just like... I think if that's how they choose to do it, like they're a little robot, then that's how it would be. But I think that if you have a good personality, you could spice that up and make it a little different every time. Oh, so you're saying that's you? Yes, I think so. We'll see. If you could be asked any question, what question would that be? Um, where would you like to go on a trip to? Where would you like to go on a trip to? Um, Bora Bora, the little huts out in the, you know, Water, right over the water? No. Fiji Island, same thing. Uh, I remember Bugs Bunny saying something about Bora Bora one time, but that's about it. Yeah, Fiji. except for I don't like to fly, so that would be a hard trip for me because you can't drive there, but. Um, you can take a boat. Yeah, I would take a boat. I would take a boat. That's what I want to do. Yes. <laughs> that reminded me of a Bruce Lee quote. I'm not going to do it. Hey, perfect. If you were stranded on an island, mm -hmm. what three albums would you have to have with you? Albums? Albums. Oh. Kids, see, that means music. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Like, I you do Apple you music. You can't do a mixtape either. Sorry. Uh, albums. Well, I, I don't I know the name. The greatest I don't, hits. I don't know the name of any album. So. All right, what three artists? So I would probably have, I would need some, like, I get mixed up a lot. So I'd probably need, like, a Willie Nelson old school. And then I would need uh, maybe a Metallica Whoa. to balance that out. And then some kind of, you know what I'd really like is a greatest compilation of bro country. Those what is three bro things. country? That's like uh, uh, Luke Bryan and Florida Georgia Line and those people that all the people who really like country hate. Oh, well I don't like country at all. So I've, I've heard a few, is it the country that's trying to be rap? Uh, kinda. Yeah. Oh, those are the people. That's I good think. summer music. Uh, so you're asking me this right now, then that's the three I'd pick. Okay. In the summer, it's like, well, and rap. I like I like some rap. Yeah, too in the all summer. those people though I've heard they just talk about dirt road. Like you can't make yeah, a song if roads, you don't say something about a dirt Friday road. Friday night lights. Yeah. And some other things. Like most things in Texas, imitation is a sure bet. I don't know what that means. When I first got to Texas, and still to this day, I noticed that everybody basically does what everybody else does. It's interesting. Okay, that's a challenge. It is a challenge. Oh, are you smarter than a 12th grader? I don't like this part of the show. Good, because it's not in the show. Oh, good. Okay. I did you right. I, I am smarter than some 12th graders. Last question. My name is Donna Lumsden, and I am a, or an, New Eagle. New Eagle. That's right, people. She is the new assistant principal. Going to split the caseload whoop, right down in the middle with me next year. Hopefully that'll mean great times here at Argyle Middle School. I think you're going to get M through Z, right? The alphabet? I, M I through Z? Sure. Yeah, she's getting M through Z. So if your last name starts the M and then or starts with Z all the way through that, bye-bye. See you later. I'll holler at you in the hall or something, but you're hers. A through L, we're going to rock it. Thank you, Ms. Lumsden, for coming in. Wait. What? So, oh, I thought you were going to say we don't do that. We shake. No, we're not done yet. Oh, wonderful. So I don't know people to find out embarrassing things to ask you about. Likewise. I reached out, and none of these people said anything to me, yeah, so they, they must won't. be loyal. I have very loyal friends. Okay. So I just have a couple questions that you don't ask that right. are interesting to me. That I don't ask? You don't ask these, but are they're interesting. Are you low-key hating on my show? No, I'm just saying if you want to steal these, if you feel like any of these would help, you can use them. <laughs> right. Okay. These are like or and or questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Road trip or airplane? Uh, airplane. Okay. East coast or west coast? To, as pertains to what? Well, you pick. Up to you. It's your question. Mm, well, if it's rap, I'm going to have to lean slightly toward west coast. If it's travel, I'm probably going to lean toward west coast. All right. Um... Fried or baked? Fried. <laughs> Sing or dance? Dance. Okay, now here's two very important ones to me. Human pyramid 
or Red Rover? Red Rover. I, hmm. you, human pyramids, you already know where I'm going. Right. And they that's why I like them. The I'm bottom. usually on the top. Yeah, I'm the one that people fall on top of. That may happen yeah. in our future. Mm -mm. Okay, two-person sweater nope. or elf costume? Elf costume. Are you sure? Positive. I, I brought something. No. Just because I know you think that it's not big enough. I'm glad you're doing all these shenanigans at the end but of the video. Look, Nobody watches. See, but, this is plenty big. I just want to point out this would easily stretch from you. Smells like mothballs. No, it smells like it smells like something good. Grandma's. To me, see, there's plenty of room in here, and it has Santa and French fries and pizza. I can't pizza. even fit my wrist you in can, there. You can. You can. So I think no. coming soon to a Christmas near you. Isn't this a good idea, everyone? No. no? no. Okay. All Get right. Mr. Gibson and wear that with you. This is a good can, idea. Y'all can fit in there. But you heard it here. If he's not doing this, it's an elf costume. I gladly do an elf costume. Drink all the syrup I can. So Are you that's, done? That's all I got. All right. That was actually pretty good. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Miss Lumsden. Kids, teachers, I think we got a good one here. We might work well together. Who knows? Who knows? We might be very upset with each other in about two weeks. Maybe. We'll see. But as we said before, we are your APs for the 2018 2019 school year. We hope to see you guys in August. Definitely not before then. However, if we see you at Walmart, Target, or anything like that, we'll run from you. <laughs> All right. So, y'all have a great summer. I may or may not post a video. Just keep checking into this YouTube channel and you may find out. Happy summer. Deuces. Ha! <laughs> Holla. Deuces. <laughs>